Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we did this uh, layout thing for you know blog. Uh, we wanted blog to be different. And now in this one, we are gonna actually host the site. And this is not the end of the series. There will be more videos coming. And also, I want you to host your site as well and share the link in the comments so that uh, I can also check it out. You may have not done the done it in the same way. You may have used different schemes or different style or different features altogether. Uh, or it's a completely different website so just share the link um i'll check it out uh yeah so let's let's go ahead and host this so there are multiple platforms that you can use to host your website like there are i mean most of them are like you know free for certain usage um let's say netlify versal uh, github pages all these things are um, quite useful now they expect the you know app to be in certain format in in a, in a certain way while hosting it. So SwellKit has this nice feature. I also talked about it in the first video that adapters is something that you know they, these are small plugins that take the built app and generate the output for deployment. So whatever the environment is, the deployment environment is, it will you know make sure it is acceptable by that environment. Let's say we are hosting it on Netlify. It will make sure uh, Netlify can, I mean, it will make sure it has all the things that Netlify needs to host the site. Uh, if you look at our code, if you go to package.json, you will see adapter auto, which is already there. So this will be enough if you're hosting it on uh, most of the popular, you know, uh, services. But you might want to customize, I mean, if you want to change it, uh, you can you you have a few options like you know uh, Cloudflare Workers, Cloudflare Netlify, Node, Static, Versal. Let's say you want to host it on maybe GitHub Pages or in, in some Git platform or like a simple static website which has these HTML uh, files. You can use Adapter Static. If you want it as a Node app, um, then you can use Adapter Node. So it depends on uh, you know the platform you're using. Now, uh, we are going to host it on Versal. So I'm not going to use any adapter. So I'm going to keep the adapter auto. So that should be enough. Also, before we host our site, um, we have to upload our code into uh, somewhere like, you know, GitHub or GitLab or somewhere, some Git platform. So that way it's easy for Versal to grab it. Now in Versal, uh, go create an account using your email or uh, github or, or something and once you are done with that you can add new project here and once that is done it will find try to find it you can also search for it and i see this here already i'm gonna import this uh, by clicking this button so once we import and uh, i'm not gonna make any changes here if you have environment variables you know you can add it here other than that i don't think i'm gonna change anything i'll just click deploy and it will probably take like uh, less than 30 seconds to host this site. So that's quite fast. If you compare this with other competitors, uh, this is quite fast. Okay, so let's go to dashboard. Now, this is the link that is available. And our site is live. So you can check all the pages if they are right. And all the functionalities, whether it is, you know, happening and should be good okay so let's go to home page i'll copy this and maybe put it here as a website and i'll save it okay uh this way you know whenever somebody comes to the repository they can easily click this link and see the output uh see how the website is all right that's all for this one guys uh, i want you to share your you know sites as well in the comment section and uh, this is not the end of the series there will be more so subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.